Hi everyone, in this problem we have to prove that A intersection B union C is contained in A intersection B union C. Let's go ahead and go through the proof. So to prove that one set is a subset of another set, we have to show that every element in this set is also an element in this set. So we'll start by taking an element in this first set and then we'll just show it's in this set over here. So take any, let's use X in the set A intersect B union C. And now we'll use what it means uh, for X to be in the intersection. So this means that X is in A and X is in B union C. Okay, so now we can break this up even further by writing down what it means for X to be in B union C. So thus, we have X in A, and, well, if X is in B union C, that means that X is in B or X is in C. So X is in B or X is in C. So we have that X is in A and X is in B or X is in C. So we can write this as X is in A and X is in B, or X is in A and X is in C. Right, the and distributes uh, over the or. So this means that X is in A and X is in B, so this means that X is in the intersection, or and this means that X is in A and X is in C. So we only need to show uh, that it's in C, not in what this means. This means A intersection C. So we can just drop the fact that it's in C and just say X is in C. And this equates to saying X is in A intersect B and the or turns back into a union, union C, which is what we were trying to show. Um, again, to go from here to here, we can just drop the X's in C, because if X is in A and X is in C, rather, we can drop the X's in A. If X is in A and X is in C, well, we only care about it being in C, so X is in C, so we can omit uh, writing that going from here to here. So we started with an element in this set here, and we showed it is in this set here. So this shows that A intersect B union C is contained in A intersect B union C. And that completes the proof. I hope this video has been helpful.